Hello and welcome to Heavily DVD Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the awesome 80's cop team up fucking action buddy cop whatever fucking movie. Tango and Cash. Fucking set up for Tango and Cash is fucking simple man. You got two cops. One Tango played by fucking Sylvester Stone. One played by Cash for fucking you know Kurt Russell. And basically the premise of it is kind of interesting team up premise. Stallone plays a nerdy motherfucker in this movie. He's a badass cop, but he made some money on the stock market. He's always watching the stocks and shit. He's a Beverly Hills cop, literally Beverly Hills cop. A lot of people don't know the movie Beverly Hills Cop was written for Sylvester Stallone. Something happened. It didn't work out. It went to Eddie Murphy. So years later, he's like, I want to play Beverly Hills Cop. So they came over to fucking roll Ray Tangle so he could do it and shit. So basically, the setup with the Stallone character is he made all this money in the stock market. He actually financially does not need to be a cop. He just gets on the adrenaline thrill ride. The movie starts out. Some motherfuckers, you know, got some coke and a big fucking semi truck, you know, disguised like a fucking gas tanker. He shoots the fucking windows out. They almost run him over. He just stands his ground to come like this close to run him over and shit. So, you know, he's just a thrill seeking motherfucker. On the other side of, you know, the fucking whatever, over in North Hollywood or where the fuck, some scummy East LA, I don't know where the fuck. Wherever he works, fucking cash, played by Kurt Russell, man, he's just a down motherfucking perfect 80s Kurt Russell roll, fucking mulleted hair, fucking, you know, fucking tight jacket with the sleeves rolled up, he's just busting motherfuckers. He goes home to his apartment, some fucking Asian dude jumps out, starts fucking blowing up the place, jumping out windows and shit. And fucking, of course, you know, it comes up with a big car chase, actually in the parking garage, an awesome thing for, I mean, seriously, if this movie came out now, it'd be awesome, but... When you see the stunts they did back then, crashing up cars with no CGI and shit, it's impressive as a motherfucker. But what's funny is, like, it's kind of trademark, whatever. Cash, Kurt Russell, he has this big fucking huge 357 made 44 Magnum type gun, but he has a big laser sight on it. But what's funky is on the handle, you can see the laser sight, there's like a big fucking wire coming down to a battery pack on the ball so he can shoot the laser out. Which, I mean, whatever, this is 1989, I guess, but like, the Terminator came out in 84, yeah, Arnold had a big laser sight on his shit, but he didn't, he didn't wires coming off the shit like it was a PlayStation controller or nothing. So, you got to set up now, fucking, one's the rough side of the tracks, whatever, one's a prissy motherfucker, but, you know, they're awesome cops. And what comes into it is a couple gangsters played by Jack Plants. Jack Plants riding his resurgence from fucking, you know, appearing in Tim Burton's Batman and shit this time. And then the other motherfucker, I think it's fucking James Hong from Big Trouble in Little China. Maybe it's another motherfucker, I'm not sure. But anyway, these they're like, these two cops, man, they've been fucking up our operations for years and shit. We gotta get rid of them. So they framed them for a murder of a DA agent, FBI agent, some shit. So Tango Cash gotta go to jail. They get, you know, there's a whole section where they go on trial and shit. Basically, they know they're innocent, but they're going to lose the trial, so they're like, all right, motherfucker, we'll give up our badges, we'll we'll do a year and a half in some, you know, just easy fucking, like, whatever, minimum security prison. So they get on the bus to go to prison. They don't go to minimum security, they go to the toughest prison, they're like, what, who's fucking around with us? They go to some hard-ass jail, man, fucking, you know, kind of like the jail in Death Warrant, <laughs> where everybody, as soon as they walk in, man, everybody's screaming, they want to rape Tango and Cash, and, like, it's kind of like, I don't know, over the top, whatever, but... Basically, they all these guys in this huge prison, Tango and Cash, most of them they throw in jail. So, of course, everybody wants revenge and shit. And plus, everybody just hates a cop in jail. First night, man, they get pulled out of their cells. They get thrown in some boiler room. All the convicts, man, hundreds of motherfuckers come. Awesome scene. Sloan, Kurt Russell fighting these motherfuckers hand-to-hand -hand and shit. And then, basically, you know, some shit comes out. Some warden comes in, breaks the shit up. So, Tango and Cash, man, they know they ain't gonna last long in this fucking jail. This is a... First night, they were strung up, electrocuted and shit, you know, fucking, came this close to dying, so they gotta get out, so the devise an escape plan, awesome escape, I don't wanna ruin the details of it, you see a lot of escapes in the fucking, you know, movies about prison shit, but this movie is fucking off the hook, great action, exciting, pulse pounding scene, the way they escape the jail, they hit the streets, they fucking, you know, they go out and they're fucking, they're, they're shaking people down. Next thing you know, you think it's Stallone's girlfriend, but it's actually his sister played by a young and hot fucking Terry Hatcher. Kurt Russell's trying to bang her and shit, but they got this case. But, you know, he thinks he thinks Terry Hatcher is Stallone's girlfriend. Turns out she's his sister, and then there's some comedy with that, whatever. Basically, they go to a guy who makes special weapons for the police. They get this big Mad Max truck, man, got machine guns on it, got all this high-tech fucking bullshit on it. So the movie ends with them taking down the bad guys at, like, basically a big rock quarry and shit. I ain't gonna ruin too much of what goes on it. Siding as fuck, very big over-the-top 80s action shit. 
They about kill 100 motherfuckers, get to the main bad guys. Of course, the shit goes down. I'll let you enjoy it when you see it. But Tango and Cash, man, fucking fun as fuck. Great to see these two guys, Kurt Russell, Sylvester Stallone, are at the top of their games, man, teaming up. You know, Expendables is cool, but they're all like 80 years old now. This is back when they was in their primes. They was all buffed up. The, the comic timing of the lines was good. Tango and Cash being one of the best buddy cop movies of all time, clearing your name out on the run, fucking on the lame and shit, movies of all time. I had a lot of fun with this man, Tango and Cash. I gotta give it a good fucking 8 out of 10. A lot of fun. Alright, picture and sound on this being the Blu-ray, man. I mean, but being an older movie, you ain't gonna expect it to look the greatest. They did come through with the Dolby True HD track, you know. The movie looked good, it looked real film-like, didn't look digitized, it didn't fuck it up. You know, with a bunch of digital noise reduction, but it wasn't spectacular. The soundtrack being a good remix in the surround soundtrack, but not like today's top whatevers. But, you know, pretty good solid blur. I cannot knock it. It was a nice presentation for a vintage action movie and shit. So I gotta give the movie on picture and sound 7 out of 10. Alright, now let's get to the shit in the bedtime. Special features includes the theatrical trailer. I mean, it was great to see the trailer and shit, but you know me. And I understand, man, this was... This was a hit movie, but this ain't like the type of movie motherfucker. Like, a lot of motherfuckers have rainbow posters on the wall and shit. You know, a lot of fuckers have Big Trouble Little China posters on the wall, but they don't have Tango and Cash, so I understand they weren't going to go back. You know, the fan interest is not there, whatever, and do a bunch of documentaries. And plus, it's Warner Brothers, man. It's if you, you know, Warner Brothers likes to shit a lot of titles out on fucking Blur Red and not put a lot of work into it. So, whatever. Theatrical trailer, all we get. Special features, sorry, 1 out of 10. Alright man, so that's it for Tango Cash. If you ever get in some legal trouble, man, try to fight it as far as you can. Don't take them shitty plea deals because they told these guys there's a men's security prison with a bunch of white collar criminals. Next thing you know, I mean, they're just fucking trying to tape their assholes shut. Anything they can do in jail not to get fucking ass raped. So if it happens to Sylvester Sloan, it can happen to you. So, you know, fucking fight the power, motherfuckers.